Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how you can create and insert animated GIFs inside of word processor files and then take those very same word processor files and make EPUBs out of them. I have got an ODT LibreOffice writer file on screen. At the very bottom you can see something moving a little bit. The top picture there is a long, long picture and it goes from margin to margin and I'm going to go page down now and you can see that there is an animated GIF in the center of the screen. This is a kids book in German and what I did was take that long long kind of picture and scan it in such a manner that I created a GIF going from left to right and then when I hit the right it would turn around and go back to the left and then there is an endless loop. Let me go down a couple pages and I'm going to show the original picture that this is taken from. I've got it in here also. I'm still goofing with it. This is the picture and the animated GIF starts here on the left and it progressively goes over to the right and then it progressively goes back to the left and then it just stops and goes over again. Let me zoom in on it a little bit and you can see it perhaps a bit nicer. Uh, let's go 200% and see what that looks like. And I am uh, in the view that shows the page, the regular page view. And if I were to go over to the view that says web layout, the web layout view doesn't show any margins at all. Now that's the animated GIF right there. And let me go down to the original picture. And that's the original picture. Well, I am now going to diminish this and show you how you can get these kinds of uh, pictures and turn them into an animated GIF. Now, these are the individual PNG shots that I have created. And the highlighted thing is the animated GIF that was made from all of these individual pictures. Well, I have got to go to the individual pictures now uh, and show you what it looks like. Do -do 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 -do. Small strips. I remember where everything is, but it's complicated. Okay, now you've got to get a picture in somehow, either from a camera or a scanner or download it. I'm going to, uh, this is a, a screenshot and this is image viewer. When I tapped on it, image viewer is the default program that will show a picture. I'm going to hit F11 and it goes full screen. I'm now full screen, but I want to go a bit larger. So I'm just hitting the plus key on the 10 key. And when I get all the way up here, what I'm going to do, hold down Alt, left arrow, and that takes me all the way over to the left. And if I were to hit Alt, right arrow, it progressively takes me over all the way to the right. Let me go back to the left now. So what I'm going to do is take screenshots one by one laboriously till I get over to the right and then screenshots laboriously to the left. And then I'm going to save them all as individual PNG files. And then I'm going to show you how to convert the individual PNG files into an animated GIF. Well, I've got to do screenshots. So, Control Alt right arrow takes me to the next screen. If you have, you can enable this yourself on Ubuntu, uh, making your uh, screen go left and right. Let me show you this workspace switcher. I have a prior video that shows that. I went from here to here. And I just did it with keys. Okay, now I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to grab the whole screen. That's the default. But I want to move this thing over to the left. So I go Shift, Control, Alt, left arrow, and it's over there now. 
But now when I hit enter, it took a picture and it tells me where I am going to be saving it and you can change that. And this is the name of the file. And when I hit save here, it'll put it in the test folder. I'm not going to save it because I've already done this, but I'll show you the sequence. Okay, I took that picture, I saved it. Now I'm going to go Alt key, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going back over to the right screen and I'm going to do it again. Shift, Control, Alt, Left, Enter. And then I save that. And then I go Alt, one, two, three, four, five. And I do this several times until I get to the end. I think it was 21 pictures I took. And then when I got to the end, I came back to make it a panning left after the panning right. But on the trip back, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I went twice as fast. Now, if you wanted to do so, you could make a picture that goes endless loop continuously right. Sort of like the backdrop on a merry-go-round. Well, let me get out of this and I'm going to go over to the files that I have on the desktop that are the individual pictures and here they are. These are all of the individual pictures. Now I've got to take those individual pictures and turn them into the animated GIF. Well, you do that by means of uh, a sequence in the terminal and you can save this as a file and just kind of automate it. But right now, this time, I'm going to go Control-Alt-T and there is my terminal. Let me zoom in on it. And I've all, I, now I want to change to the desktop. Let's see, there it is. Change directory, home pop, that's the user, that's me, capital desktop, slash, the name of the folder. I made up a folder called test. And then, after that, this is the name, th this is the actual command that's used in the terminal to make an animated GIF out of individual PNG files. And let me just go over it real quick. It says convert space dash delay space and the delay will be 10 space dash loop space zero. That means to do it endlessly. And then the star means all of the files ending with PNG. And then this is the name of the file that you are creating. Animation dot GIF. Well, if you want to do so, you can, instead of memorizing that, you can take this and put it in a word processor file and make the word processor file, that is to say the gedit file, enabled to execute and then you can save it with some easy to remember name. Let's go up here to edit. Whoops, edit. Uh, I need to copy all of this. I need to copy and paste all of this. Let's see if I can do that. No, see it's hard to do in the terminal. Darn it. Let's see, edit select all. There we go. I've got it all selected. Now I'm going to go over here and open up gedit, the word processor file. It's actually, you know, text editor file. And then I'm going to go edit paste. But see, this has everything in there besides just the name of the, uh, uh, the, the just the command business. Okay, now I've got to save this and give it a name and I'm going to go file save and let's call it animated GIF and I'm going to save this on the desktop and one more thing actually two more things now 
when when you uh, open this up, it's just going to open up as a text file unless you tell it to do something. And the way you do that is to go here, highlight it, right click, properties, permissions, allow executing the file as a program. Well, guess what? It used to be that's all you used to have to do. And you would tap on it and it would say, do you want to run it or do you want to display it? Well, I had to do one other thing. And what you need to do is go over here to and you're going to have to go to files and go to preferences and you're going to have to go to behavior and you're going to have to put this check right here. Otherwise it won't work. They changed the behavior of that in 13.10 and I'm running 13.10 just little aggravating thing there. Now it will run as a program and you can go after the file is created and tap on that animated GIF and it will run. It takes a second. It's kind of slow and that might be my computer which is very very old and uh, it runs real good in the word processor though. So Let's just give it a second. There we go. Now it's going right. Now it's going left. Now it's going right. Now it's going left. I must emphasize this is extremely smooth. It may not be smooth on the video that I'm creating because I'm going 25 frames a second. And the 25 frames a second may have some ir irregularities in this because this is what I would guess 5 frames a second or something like that. Okay, I have now done that, 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 and the other, and I've created the word processor file. But what we need to do is take that word processor file and put it in Calibre. And in Calibre, we're going to then make an EPUB out of it. So let me just verify that's what I got. It works real good. You see what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to diminish it. Now I'm going to open up caliber and caliber I've already got it in here so let me go delete right arrow enter it's gone now I'm going to add that exact same file open it up and it's going to put it in as an ODT that is to say a word processor file it hasn't done a darn thing with it it's just added it in and after I add it in, then I can turn it into an EPUB. Now, I must warn you, EPUB is the only one that works. You cannot do this with a Mobi or anything else that I know of. It's got to be EPUB. And when I hit enter, it just takes a few seconds. And you can, after you create this file, send it by means of Ubuntu One or Dropbox to your Android phone and you will have an animated GIF on your phone in the word processor file that you are reading with FB Reader. Now there are some differences between FB Reader in Linux Ubuntu and FB Reader on the Android phone. The Android phone FB Reader is very very well done whereas there are some holes in the Linux version and they have not caught up yet and I don't know why. In fact, using the reader that comes with Calibre, there are some problems with this file also. And you'll see in a second when it finishes, when I open it up, that although the uh, although the GIF does animate, I cannot get it to center. I've tried and tried and tried. I might just be missing something. If somebody knows what I did wrong, I would be happy to, to learn. Now I'm just going to go right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, and there it is. And you see how it goes all the way to the left. I've tried everything that I possibly can. Let me go Control Alt and make this full page and when I make it full page 
some of the things get bigger. Page down. Let's see what we got. There's a bit of a time lag. And now it's graying out. I'll say it's a time lag. Of course, I've got all kinds of things running right now, including the screen recorder, which takes up a lot of hardware. Give it half a second, folks. I think it's coming back. It's a rare day when I crash. It seems to me every time I turn on, every time I turn on Linux, it gets better every single day. I don't know what they're doing. There's probably 10,000 guys working on this. At the moment, though, it will not animate. It does animate. You've seen it animate. It might be that this reader will not do it. Well, I have showed how to do this, and uh, it is very frustrating. It is very time consuming, but it's very enjoyable. My name is Pop, and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I thank you very, very much.